Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brennan here, and I don't have any fancy Lamborghinis behind me. I don't have any fancy bookshelves, no knowledge, uh, nothing crazy going on. I'm just in my kitchen, and as you can see over here, I'm just making some pasta. It's gonna bubble over here in a second, so I'll probably have to take care of that. The reason why I'm creating this video is because I wanted to talk about what I think is the number one most important skill that you can have, not even in business, but just in life in general, okay? This number one skill that you need to know is, in my opinion, delayed gratification. Now, what do I mean by that? That means you have to be able to make short-term sacrifices for long-term gain, okay? Now, some people, of course, are gonna get way too carried away with this and have long-term be forever, right? You need to actually have a goal, a vision, an end point, a closing in mind. Uh, but lots of times you have to make temporary sacrifices to get long-term gains. Now, why do I think that? Because there was a study done called the Two Marshmallow Experiment. Now, in the Two Marshmallow Experiment, they took a group of kids and they offered them a choice, okay? They put a marshmallow down on a table and they said, hey, you can have this marshmallow and we know you wanna have this marshmallow or if you can wait until I get back, you are going to get two marshmallows, okay? Now, from that study they found, some people took the marshmallow right away, some people were like tortured, were thinking about taking the marshmallow, eventually gave in and just took the marshmallow. And some people waited until the person came back and they got the two marshmallows. Now, what they found from the study, because it was actually like decades ago, is the people that chose to wait for the second marshmallow, that was a more accurate indicator of success than intelligence, grades in schools, um, income bracket that they were born into, connections, anything else, okay? That was the most important metric determining who ended up to be successful. Now, how does this relate to life? How does this relate to business? Well, well I think, like for me personally, I was a high school teacher. I don't know if a lot of people know that, uh, but I was a high school teacher from Canada, and the problem in Canada is it's really hard to get a teaching job, okay? People wait years to get a job. Now, this is a whole other topic for another video, but I think that one of the number one scams in going on in North America right now is university. The amount of money that it costs to get an education outside of business, okay? You can have a $13 course that shows people exactly what you're doing step by step that people legitimately people have made thousands upon thousands of dollars on and people will complain about how horrible that is but very few people will bat an eye at spending $10,000 a year on an education that could potentially leave you massively in debt and without a lucrative job and that's what happened to me. So a Canadian teacher, didn't really have a job, built my business on the side and I think a lot of people thought I was an idiot. Why are you wasting your time on the laptop? Why are you doing all this stuff? Try and like, why don't you just like fill out more resumes, look for different teaching jobs? And I did, okay? Because you do have to pay the bills. So I'm not recommending, hey, give up everything that you're doing and just gamble, guess on something like business. But I was building the business on the side, okay? And the business did not pay off on day one, did not pay off on day two. It did not pay off on day 100. I don't even think it paid off on day 1000, okay? I'm not the smartest guy in the room, okay? Well, this room because I have nobody else in here, but I'm not the smartest guy uh, by any means, okay? It took me a while, but eventually I figured it out, okay? I got the marshmallows and now I have a very good life, okay? Now I probably make around $2,000 a day currently, so, you know, you can do the math on that for per year or whatever. It's much better than what a teacher would make. And if I want to, I can go back to teaching and I can work with some kids or whatever and uh, life is good. So what I learned is through the whole process is that you need to not give up on your long-term goals and sacrifice the short-term to make some long-term plays. And this also comes to a really big learning point for me, okay? A really big learning point for me, which is that it's not about the amount of money that you make, it's about how the process of succeeding changes you on your journey, okay? Because if all of my money just disappeared tomorrow, I was left broke with no connections, no business, no email list, no nothing, no YouTube subscribers, I guarantee you I could get it all back, okay? 
Now that's not me being arrogant because almost anybody that's in my situation, that's in my very position right now or doing better than me, you know, they could, I almost guarantee you, almost all of them would say the exact same thing, you know? And the reason for that is because it's not a problem of, it's a problem of a mindset problem. It's a problem of developing the skills. It's about a problem of solving the problems. Once you know how to do that, you can virtually print money on demand, okay? And that's why I'm creating this video because I'm telling you, you know, I used to have that kind of small mind mentality of, you know, it's gonna be so hard to get a dollar, it's gonna be so hard to get $10, maybe I should quit. I almost quit so many times. Uh, and I think that's what separates people that win from people that give up, okay? That's why I'm titling this video, Did You Give Up? Because really, you need to try a bunch of different things. Something's gonna work for you eventually if you stick with it and you do the right things, you develop yourself. And this takes me to Jim Rohn, I'll end it off with this, but Jim Rohn said, stop complaining about how hard it is or how difficult it is, make yourself better, okay? So if you're not getting everything that you want out of life right now, that means that you need to change something, okay? And you shouldn't be looking for the quick fix that's gonna work tomorrow. Think about what you want in the long term and do today what you need to do to get what you want tomorrow, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. A little bit different than what I normally do. It's just baking some pasta, and you know I haven't created a video in a while, so I figured, nah, maybe you'll get something out of this, maybe you won't. Uh, if you liked it, give me a YouTube like. If you disliked it, give it a YouTube dislike, because I use your feedback to figure out which videos to create in the future. All right, guys, bye for now.